Hi and welcome to another Radan technical video. This tech video looks at the steps to build and use auto tooling templates. An auto tool template is a combination of one or more punch tools coupled with a portion of a part. These templates are particularly beneficial for part features that won't automatically tool with the standard automatic tooling settings and options. There are just a few steps to creating an auto tool template. Starting with determining the part feature that needs an auto tool template, then just place the preferred tooling on the part geometry, run the auto tool template macro, and save the template. Auto tool templates support both internal and external profile geometry. Let's walk through creating one of each. Starting with this part, notice that the internal profile doesn't tool for a scrap out tool arrangement, but instead tools for cutting around the edge of the internal profile. Auto tooling's scrap settings only cover true rectangular cutouts, so the chamfered corners prevent the standard auto tooling options from tooling to our preference. Auto tooling templates provide a method to automatically tool these types of shapes to our preferred tool arrangement. So we'll get rid of the original tooling and add the preferred tool arrangement for this internal profile. Once the profile is tooled, the auto tool template macro will capture the tool profile geometry into a template. Then the macro navigates to the configured auto tool template folder and we just need to add a name for the template. Saving that template in the default auto tool template folder results in that template now displaying in the list with a preview in the template section of the auto tooling dialog. So we can test out this template on a different part that has the same exact inner profile shape. Auto tooling now tools that profile per the template automatically. Now let's look at using auto tooling templates for an external profile segment. With this part we have the corner details section of the external profile that we would like to have auto tooled differently. This is another example of geometry that could benefit from an auto tool template. This part includes the same corner design and is tooled to our requirements, including a special tool. Using the tool lists redraw tool feature, we can see the tools that have been applied to the corner geometry. With the right tooling in place, we'll use the auto tooling template macro again to make the template for this corner feature. With this template saved, other parts with this external feature can now be auto-tooled correctly. In the automatic tooling dialog, the templates page shows two lists. The top list shows the auto-tooling template folders that will be used during auto-tooling. The folders are used in the order shown and the template symbols from one folder are tried before trying the templates in the next folder listed. The order of the folders can be changed and folders can be added and removed from the list. The second list are the symbols in the currently selected template folder. A preview of the currently selected symbol is also shown. The order of the symbols in this list is not relevant and will not necessarily be tried in the order shown. The icons along the right edge of the top list include the append icon which displays a folder browse dialog allowing you to select either the root auto tooling template folder or any one subfolder under the root. Selected folders will be appended to the template folder list. 
The Delete icon removes the currently selected folder from the Template Folders list. The Move Up icon moves the currently selected folder up in the order of the Template Folders, and the Move Down icon moves the currently selected folders down in the order of the Template Folders, making reordering the folder list simple. There are some rules and restrictions regarding AutoTool templates. For instance, only one closed profile can be selected per template, and there must be at least three contiguous lines or arcs within the selected profile geometry. There is a default subfolder of the DAT folder called AutoTool Templates that must be used as the root folder for the template storage location. However, subfolders underneath that folder can be used as well. If you require lots of templates, it may make sense to create subfolders to categorize your templates. It is okay to include tags as part of an AutoTool template, but templates will not react to the AutoTooling tag settings, so you should verify tag quantities and size after AutoTooling with templates. You can add t-datums to parts using templates, but t-datums cannot be on the profile geometry to be tooled by an AutoTool template. In summary, we've seen that AutoTool templates provide a way to AutoTool part geometry that otherwise could not be auto-tooled correctly. And both internal and external profile geometry can be auto-tooled using templates. Also, the Auto-Tooling Dialog's Template section provides an effective interface for defining and selecting which template folders to use. And the Auto-Tool Template macro makes it quick and easy to define auto-tool templates. Thanks for watching this tech video and stay tuned for more videos from the Radan Resource Newsletter and check out other Radan Tech videos in the Video Clips section of the Vero Customer Support Portal.